so what's going on guys uh, today we'll be learning um, masking um, I know I've shown you guys a little bit about it with the cloning effect but that was just very um, not detailed uh, today I just thought um, I would show you guys um, more detailed way or more more things that uh, masking can actually do for you it's crazy but um let's go into let's see okay yeah i think this would be a good um this would be a good footage to work with uh so first of all uh let us create a new composition i'm sure most of you know how to do that we'll go with um 1920 by 1080 1080p uh let's start with masking um let's do about 15 seconds okay so here we are so now we have a new composition right so um like I said, we'll be doing masking. So let us, uh, let me first show you what where exactly the masking tool is. So you see this right here is the masking tool. Once you can click and hold it, you will, it will toggle down and you see the options of the mask that you can create just by clicking on the uh, shape. So if I were to click on rectangle tool, for example, right? I've clicked on rectangle. Let us create let us create a new solid you know how to create a new solid just do command y or for those of you using windows use control y um i'll change the color let's do red and it's okay so now we have we have um a red solid right here and don't forget i already selected my rectangle tool under my masking so now if i drag out as you can see if i drag out now you see that the mask is now covering from here to here now is eliminated this other part but if you want to see this other part so what you want to do is you see why if you come down on your on your shape layer you see let's say this is what you have for example you can toggle down you see mask on that mask you can also toggle down more you see mask pad max feather mask opacity and mask expansion and even on that mask you see where you can have different um intersections so now it's currently on add and you can always use subtract what subtract to do is you know it's gonna be the opposite of what you have at that time so you know before because it was hard hard is kind of like because you've dragged it out so it covers where you've kind of had it so subtract is kind of the opposite of that uh, you also have intersect intersect is more of like in between two um, objects that you might be you know masking it uh, you probably would never use any of this so it's mostly gonna be that none and none is that the mask is there you can see it but you don't want it to show um what it's masking on at the time but you can see where your mask covers so let us do um hard for now and um so now we already have our shape layer maxed out so um what how crazy masking is is let me create another shape layer right here let's change the color of this one to purple it okay let's put it on there so now you know the, the top one is red right because we've maxed out now we can see what's below on the red which is the purple so if on the purple we want a different shape of the mask we can come back to the max tool you see it has rounded rectangle we can use ellipse tool we can use polygons we can use star um you can you know you can choose any one that you want but for the purpose of this tutorial let us do star click on star now you go on to your um 
until your solid layer and just drag it out as you can see just drag it out you've created a star shape uh, mask right there press your V for your uh, tool for your pen tool sorry and uh, as you can see now you can pull this star on top of on top of the uh, the reason why it's cutting out here is because with my mask as you can see I can drag it down you can always you can always change um, the um, the knobs of your mask to recreate any shape that you want like this we can change this one now to try and like get more of like a circular shape or even like a square anything that you want so that's pretty much what how crazy the mask can and another thing under the mask like uh, you remember when we toggle down here the mask pad so let us do feather so what your feather will do is let's say I do 10 as you can see if you look at the edges of your mask now you can see it feels really really soft now so that's the advantage of masking so most of the time when you do your mask on um, in your projects you would have you would most likely have to feather the edges just so it's not looking really sharp like this one and the cases where you need sharp edges will probably be um for um maybe animations like this when you're working with shape layers but for the purpose of say maybe you're working on a visual effects project and you want to mask one thing on the other you you always want to feather your edges just so it blends in with the other um, um, subject or object that you're working with and um, just so you know you can also play with your mask expansion the expansion is once you've done your um, your masking already you can always increase it or you can decrease it that's what your expansion is for so i'll put it back on zero uh one more thing is the mask pad so this mask pad it's a very huge one so what it does is you you can keyframe um the position of your mask right and when you move on to the next keyframe you can change the position and the animation will go from where you start from where you started sorry to where you want to end let's give that a try so on my let us change this to five so we have bigger composition to work with so on my first mark on my zero let's say i click on i've already so the the keyframe on max part is already recorded all these keyframes now if i go to the next um my next um uh, next number my timeline now i can increase i can increase the the shape now to what i want just watch so now if i go back you see that you see how it grows now on the on the next keyframe we can take it back now we can even go in that's what she said so i had to say that now we can go in and bring it in like that So now if we play it back, see how it goes and come back. So that's one thing that a mask can do for you. There's so much. I just thought I would show you guys a little bit of what the masking tool can do. 